Only on nine, a first look at Joe Exotic from behind bars in Florida. He's accused in a murder for hire plot against a woman there. He asked the interview not be recorded under the advice of his attorney, but did make statements regarding the crime. And he spoke with our Sylvia Corkiel via video call from jail. Sylvia? Amanda Kelly, I'm outside the federal courthouse where Joe will make his first appearance before a judge. Right now, he's waiting extradition, but he tells me when he does, he'll reveal a mountain of evidence that he says will prove that he was set up. With his signature tasseled leather coat replaced by an orange jumpsuit. In a brief phone call, Joe tells me he's seen better days. He claims he's lost everything to a greedy Jeff Lowe, the current owner of Greater Winniewood Zoo. Maldonado Passage says since their introduction back in 2015, Lowe has been plotting a takeover, forcing him out of the park back in July and then later conspiring with the feds in the months leading up to his arrest. When asked about the specifics of the indictment, including his conversations with an undercover FBI agent, Joe said, they contacted me over and over. I never initiated contact. That's entrapment. Maldonado Passage also claimed he would soon make public a series of social media screenshots and text messages that would prove he was framed by Jeff Lowe. When contacted for response, Mr. Lowe told News 9 he and his wife have fully cooperated with the investigation. And in a statement said, federal agents have asked us to stay tight-lipped until Joe's arraignment. Now, Maldonado Passage also tells me he suffered 10 broken ribs at the hands of U.S. Marshals when they tackled him to the ground on the day of his arrest. He also tells me he's in need of prescription meds that he's been denied. Live on the scene on the story from the federal courthouse, Sylvia Corkill, News 9.